<laughs> you were a doggy supermodel. Where would you go to be groomed? This hot dog would be heading straight to Tokyo for the Extreme Dog Grooming Championship. <laughs> we know it's doggy flavoured and pretty extreme, but will it be wacky enough to take home our coveted golden note? All will be revealed soon enough, Ambo. Are you ready for your makeover, you gorgeous little thing? Actually, I don't mind a little bit of pampering. Yeah, I was talking to the dog, Ambo. Ah. Uh, I knew that. Well, I hope this little canine is ready for a makeover because it's extreme dog grooming time! We'll be taking on Japan's most passionate style gurus of the fairy kind before rating the competition for grossness, originality, laughs and difficulty. If the event scores over 20 points, it will win the ultimate accolade. A golden body Marty and a chance to be named the Wacky World Beater. Under 20 points, and it scores more. <laughs> now, where were we? It's unreal. Look at this. I didn't Look. think it was going to be this serious. No, there's like a full... Sta we're in a stadium. We're in an actual dog grooming stadium. There's people watching. Extreme dog grooming is taken pretty seriously in Japan. Wow. That's a lot of officials. But it's Kikuchi Ryo in the hat and Nakashima Hide in the red tie who we'll need to impress today. Let's meet our puppies. Hey. This is Junior, who's the dog official. Uh, this is Yuki. Oh, hi, Yuki. Come here. And is this my guy? What's his name? Murakami. Murakami. Yuki and Murakami are professional show dogs that have kindly agreed to model for us today. We'll be hoping our rookie grooming skills will make our pups proud and hold up against the 30 seasoned professionals we'll be up against. The efforts will be rated and compared against each other in our own personal contest as well. We ready to go, mate? Very ready to go. Is there even a dog in there? <laughs> it's just a big ball of fluff. All right, mate, let's go. Me and Yuki have done some serious bonding. Check it. So loyal, so loyal. Yuki, Yuki, come this way. Come on, Yuki, this way, come on. Um, might have to go back to the drawing board on that one, but um, generally, uh, I'm gonna put my hand around him. Loves me. So it's Ambo and her fickle friend Yuki versus Gilly and his dog, the soon-to-be multicoloured Murakami. Let's cross to the stats. Name: Amberly, aka the Dog Whisperer. Strengths: Team Building. Weaknesses: Can't cut a close shave. Probability of winning: 68%. And in the opposite corner, name: Gilly. AKA Color King. Strength, master of doggy die. Weaknesses, may pee on your leg. Probability of winning, 46%. Let's start the show. And we're off. Competitors have two hours to style their dogs in two categories. Traditional grooming, with both professional and amateur classes, and the design category, which is what we're going for. Although creativity is valued, it's the quality of technique judges are really looking out for, and that's got me somewhat worried. That's a, uh, a wee protector, just in case he freaks out. Little confession to make. At high school, I was the only one in grade nine who was required to wear a smock in art class when we were only drawing. Gilly's competing today as Colour King, so let's hope his artistic skills are up to the job. <laughs> Classic error. As Judge Kikuchi is keeping an especially close eye on his painting technique. Oh dear. Disaster. I think it's safe to say Colour King's first fairy brush strokes are looking pretty dog eared. And kind of like Murakami's met with an unfortunate accident. Yeah, well, at least I've started though. Hey, Amber. So I know I haven't started yet and everyone's like going for it, but. I'm just going to establish rapport first and then, it doesn't matter about time, we can do it in two seconds. Yuki, are you ready? Give us some skin. Start this. I'm going for it. Oh. OK, bonding over. Let's do this. We're not allowed to mingle with our fellow competitors, but rumour has it there's a lot of poodles here. Poodles are popular in grooming circles. They love being clipped and their thick curly fur is ideal for showcasing superstar styling. Uh, I've had a vision. It's just come to me, bang! And it's there in the head like any great artist. Mohawk, purple, straight down from nose to tail, all purple, and then I'm going to have colours exploding off it like that. Looks like the Colour King's realised he needs style as well as colour, but will it be enough to impress the judges? 
The others are all streaking ahead, but I'm going a little slower because Yuki and I are working as a team. When he's had enough, he tells me, he's like, stop, no more bands. I'm like, OK, OK, we'll go with clips. He says, yes, OK, we'll go with clips. That's how we work. OK, what? We're clips now. Where do you want this to go? Doesn't agree with these. Does not agree with those. OK, they're off. OK, now get back up. We've got to get some work done. We're over halfway through and the crazy canine creations are taking shape. This is always a dangerous bit when you get to the rear of the animal. This is where man and beast must be in one. And there's a trust there. A severe trust. It looks like the dog whisperers happily oblige Yuki's requests for a ribbon overload. But what will the judges think? What? The judges love it. That's a shock comeback after such a shaky start. How can you not like it? It's just... it's love. And hold up! Kelly King's pretty confident in his creation too. I'm done. I'm done. There's no more I can do. Yes, it's rough around the edges. The colours have bled into each other. But this clearly is not a failure. Oh. The public agrees. And more importantly, so does Nakasani. Good job. Good job. Well, you don't need any translation on that one. Good job. Ten seconds to go, but Yuki tells me she still wants more ribbons. Ah, uh, the clock is ticking down and I just want to get everything on to little Yuki. Oh, that's it. Yuki's loving our joint creation and cannot wait to show it off to the judges on the catwalk. Uh, you mean dog walk? Whatever, check out how happy these dogs look and super cute too. Let's hope Yuki's feeling the love. You guys are up next. Oh yeah, I'm paying tribute to Yuki's vision with a matching ribbon outfit and together we're rocking the fashion ensemble like no other. Nailed it! <laughs> Top that, Gilly. Ah oh, well, Murakami and I can pull off a theme better than anyone. I called this next look, Rainbows Exploding in My Pooper Scooper. The crowd is clearly impressed, and those glasses really make me look intelligent. It's time to see what the judges have to say. The big prizes, look at the size of that check, have gone mostly to poodle groomers with top-notch shaving skills. So it's no surprise we've failed to place. But what about our contest against each other? I'm pretty sure the judges will appreciate the collaborative teamwork behind Yuki's ribbon design. But Judge Nakasima already made his feelings very clear about my rainbow paint job. Good job. Thank you very much. It's a dead set winner. The winner is about to be revealed. What is it going to sell? To, to, her, to, to, to me? To her? Yeah. Rob! Get that to you, Yuki! I'm so overcome with the victory, I can't even figure out which way to hold my certificate. It's the wrong way around. Just like the decision. It's time for gold or mole. For grossness, a dog could have weed on us, but it didn't. I'm going to give it a one. For originality, I've never seen dogs in my local park this decked out, so it's a six. For laughter, <laughs> funny dog walks on the catwalk, score this event a three. For difficulty, dog groomings are fine art and much harder than it looks, so it's a six. It's mold! That's right, Dog Grooming joins our exclusive Mouldy Cheese Club. It's lavender feet time and all this hair is brought to you by all the dogs <laughs> in the arena. It's time for a doggy hair shower. Let's just start off nice and slow. <laughs> Rub it in. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, not down the neck, not down the neck! Oh, where did you even get the hair? <laughs> <laughs> 